Maybe I should study. I didn't understand a word he said. Wow, you can't top that. So let's stop trying. They didn't have Zelda, so I got Pam. Of this bone there is much in doubt, so of yourself tell me all about. Hey everyone, so I have another Sabrina review today and this is episode 23 of the second season, Disney World, which is one of my favourite episodes, not just because it's based in Disney Disney World, but um, just because there's so much in it that I absolutely love. Costume-wise, it's one of my favourites, both um, Zelda's and Hilda's. Um, main costumes in this are my favourite. You have Hilda in her um, her green Disney shirt with the Mickey Mouse ear hat and Zelda's got like a, a white shirt on in the hat. She, br brilliant. Absolutely love both her costumes in this. And of course the quiz master's in this and he fits right in in Disney World. For those of you who can't remember, in this one Sabrina has to go to Disney World and she uses her magic to make Mr. Croft announce it as a class trip because she needs to go there to pass her exam. She needs to collect plants to brew a potion to turn people into animals and then brew the potion to turn people back and when she's in Disney World, Valerie and Libby get hold of the potions, turn into zebras. You all know exactly what I'm on about. It's fantastic. It's such a simple thing, as in Sabrina's spells backfiring, but what makes this different is that it's not her finger magic that's backfiring. Normally she'll do a sloppy incantation or she'll point her finger at the wrong person or rot too quickly or whatever. This one is an actual brewed potion. And there are certain times when we kind of get a big chunk of proper magic in Serena, like potions and cauldron magic. But they're not as frequent as incantations and finger pointing. So I love a proper brewed potion. Whenever I watch this, I just want to go and get shaved coconut and all the other things and put it in and see if I can get somebody to turn into a zebra or some other animal that's going to turn them into something. I just absolutely love that element so much and that makes me so excited. The plot development is brilliant, I think because Harvey's kind of out of the picture but he's still in the forefront. It's really nice because Harvey is there just to add humour to this. Yes, you could argue he's there, he's there to get Libby next to Valerie to turn them into zebras, yada yada. But really, there are other ways of doing this, but Harvey being there is just simply humour, you know, and Hilda sends him on the safari trail thing. Um, his script, his lines, his personal lines are just phenomenal. I absolutely love them. Libby in this, I think, is a bit hard to handle. If you've seen a lot of my other Sabrina reviews, you'll know I say this every time when we have a kind of different Libby episode. For example, Five Easy Pieces of Libby or um, When Teens Collide. Kind of when we get to see a, a different side of Libby. I love it, but I hate it at the same time because I don't like having my opinions of this snobby bratish cheerleader changed into oh maybe she does have a heart and a soul after all but in this episode she's not as mean as what sometimes we can think she is because if you think of Libby you think waste of space horrible person good for nothing you look at this episode and you kind of think yes maybe she is human after all maybe she does have a heart maybe there is something a bit nicer in there than what we think so it's one of those episodes which I love but I hate that at the same time um, Tootie in this is very odd. I never used to like him, quite frankly, because he used to scare me. The character used to terrify me, not to the point of squealing and turning off the television, but you know, just to the point of kind of being a bit like, yeah, Zelda, turn him back into the bone, please, quickly. But now, the more I watched, I kind of think, actually, that's a brilliant character, and he does add quite a lot to it. Uh, his relationship with Mr. Craft, I like an awful lot. The fact that Mr. Craft doesn't understand there's magic involved, is genius. The fact that he thinks he is an actual 20, oh, 20th century human, I think I said 21st, 20th century human being is a bit peculiar. You'd think Mr. Kraft would realise that something was going on, but you know, as um, Zelda, I think, points out in one of the episodes, they give him a lot of potions and it has some weird side effects on him. Um, yeah, so I absolutely love this. Salem in this is brilliant. Oh, he's gorgeous in this one. The shrimp cocktails, it's hilarious. Um, Sabrina ordering the licorice. Everything about this episode, I absolutely love. Um, there's only another three, I think, more episodes to talk about after this one, maybe two. Um, one of them is quite an emotional one, just because it's quite a sad episode, I think. And another one um, is... The, the finale episode is quite good and I'm sure there's another one but I'm forgetting it but I'll do them anyway and then after that we get to start on season 3 which I have been waiting for for ages season 3 is phenomenal let me know your thoughts on Disney World and that's it for just now so I'll see you all next time bye